They said that vaping is safer than smoking cigarettes. They said it has no health risks. They even said that it's just like water. They lied. Lie. Research suggests that vaping is harmful to both your heart and your lungs. And e-cigarettes are just as addictive as traditional ones. Consider the consequences. Don't vape. We're back in studio, everybody, and that uh, video is very telling. And we're going to be chatting this morning with Dr. Asante LeBlanc. So the Trinidad and Tobago Cancer Society, in collaboration with Scotiabank Foundation, launched a national no smoking, no vaping campaign and an online video competition on 31st July 2020, targeting young people and students across the country. Joining us via Zoom to discuss the details of this is Dr. Asante LeBlanc, the chairman of the Trinidad and Tobago Cancer Society. Welcome and good morning. Good morning, Kerry. Good morning to the other guy. I don't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> it's Roka. <raucous>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so before we speak about the educational campaign, let's speak about vaping, which was originally deemed as, an health, as a healthy alternative to smoking and an actual cigarette. Yes, Kerry. Um, Unfortunately, um, this was another ploy by the nicotine and tobacco industry to um, continue getting profits at the expense of the health of our population worldwide. So this year, on the 31st of May, 31st of May, when it was World No Tobacco Day, the theme this year was to protect youth from the industry manipulation and preventing the, the, them from tobacco and nicotine use. Because... Vaping came out when we got through with don't smoke, it causes cancer. They brought vaping and said, oh, but this is not nicotine. This is not tobacco. It makes you look cool just so they could continue making profit at the expense of the health of all of us in worldwide. Now, um, let's, let's go a little more in depth, doctor. Now, um, let's speak about vaping and how the, well, the chemical really is, in the chemical. Well, is uh, ingested into the, the body. What, what, what is it really? What, what, is, what is vaping? So I know there's a use of vapor of some sort, but what is the, the medium by which it is taken into the body and what effect does it have on the body? Right, so Kerry, you'd be amazed to find out that vaping is done by e-cigarettes, right? Um, and so the e-cigarettes, you'll be surprised to find out that 99% of e-cigarettes sold in the, in the USA contains nicotine. So you're still getting nicotine in your body. But along with that, what they did is that they started to employ and introduce chemicals such as um, flavors that attract younger children, and also their other cancer-causing chemicals, their dyes. The aerosols have diacetylene, which will affect the lungs. There's heavy metals such as nickel, tin, and lead. So all of these will affect the body um, over time because the aerosol is still going in. There's still heat going down the respiratory tract. But along with that, not only do we now have nicotine, we have other cancer-causing chemicals. Wow. So um, in the video we just saw, they mentioned that it also causes heart-related issues. What are some of the issues that arise uh, as pertains to the heart um, when it comes to vaping? So what happens is the popcorn lungs and leading to COPD and, and chronic lung insufficiency and cancer then therefore, because everything is connected in the body, it can impact on the heart directly with the nicotine and the, the chemicals, but also with an insufficiency of the lungs or your respiratory system, you will then have an impact on the functioning of the heart. And therefore, you can get from cardiomyopathies, hypertrophy of the heart, which means an enlargement of the heart, and then lead to heart failure and ultimately death. That's some really scary things there, doctor. And, um, you know, so again, we have this campaign coming up which is educating people on the uh, harm related to vaping and smoking. So uh, let's go into the campaign a little bit now. How did the collaboration with the Scotiabank Foundation happen? Well, Kerry, the Scotiabank Foundation has been um, collaborating with the Trinidad and Tobago Cancer Society over a number of years. And um, we always had um, received donations from them with the um, cancer walk that they have in October, which is the breast cancer walk. And um, we approached them last Year, saying, you know, that money, what we do is we increase screening in the population with mammograms and all of that for women. But can we do more? And we were seeing an impact of vaping, an increase in vaping in our young people. And we know that this is detrimental to the health of the population of Trinidad and Tobago. 
So we approached Scotiabank Foundation and said, can we do more? Can we launch a campaign? Can we educate the younger people in Trinidad and Tobago about the harmful effects of vaping and e-cigarettes? Because, Terry, what people don't understand is that this can be a bumper drug to addiction of other drugs. It can lead to so many other problems in our young people. It can affect their brain development. It affects their health overall. It just affects them from before the age of 25 because they start that in high school, if not primary school. So Scotiabank was very excited, and we decided to collaborate, and then, well, COVID came. So our campaign, we pushed on ahead, and our campaign is now a virtual campaign. So um, we're going to go out to schools virtually with a PowerPoint presentation, educating them on the harmful effects of vaping, why they should not start, why they should stop if they have started, and we want them to spread it. We want them just like they do their TikToks, just like they do their, their Twitters, their Bitters, their Facebooks, their Instagrams, whatever it is that young people do these days, because my kids are all on TikTok these days. We want them to be to spread it through their medium. We want that that's why our promotion is about young people speaking. It's not adults speaking to young people. It's their own peers saying, Don't do it. It makes no sense. And we had those young people commit to two years of, of spreading that message, you know, and, and making that message viral. So we're going to go out to schools, we're going to have bookmarks, notebooks, we're going to have a comp, we're going to have a competition where they do um, different videos on on no smoking, no vaping, and then the winner wins special prizes. Right. And believe me, they're great prizes. And, um, you know, Terry, I think COVID-19 has made us all aware of how we can live virtually. To some extent, even though we still miss that social interaction and that yeah. hug and that that high five, we seem to be but having. Right now, it's amazing time for our kids to use this medium to spread that word. Now, Doctor, uh, you know the message is one that, um, of course, is very necessary in this time. But young people have a mentality of, well, one that they're invincible and nothing can happen to them, and two, uh, young people. Anything that seems to be educational, many, not all, but many young people have an aversion to it of some sort. So how are we really going to drive this message home and get it out to as many young people as possible, aside from, uh, you know, young people also spreading the message? You know, Carrie, I, I understand where people say young people are invincible and they feel that they're invincible. But I find that our younger generation, not only do they may have that feeling of invincibility, but they're also switched on. You know, young, my, my daughter is 15, and she can speak to me on politics in the USA. She can speak to me on the rights and wrongs of social injustice. So they're not just in this cloud. You know, it's not drug, sex, and rock and roll anymore. These are not just, oh, don't do this because I say so. It's don't do this because these are the effects. We have this. We have the science. We have the pictures. We can show you. And just as we got them to say no to tobacco, to a regular cigarette, we can get them to say no to vaping. And we need to attack this now. We need to cut this now because this is wrong. The Trinidad and Tobago Cancer Society was so pivotal in getting the Anti-Tobacco Act in Trinidad and Tobago. And we will not let up. And we will not allow the industry to, to come and, and maneuver and manipulate and then still make profit on our health. If we don't know by now, that the health of a population is the wealth of a population, then we sure are doomed in this world. So we have to make that effort. So the teens have to do it. But most importantly, parents, look at what your children are doing. Join in their TikToks. Participate. You know, you need to have a conversation and a frank conversation with your children, and not once, Carrie, but every day. Have those conversations. Just as you can talk about music and politics, Definitely. And Dr. Asante? That you Dr. can talk Aruba. about being cigarettes and drugs. So we need to have those frank conversations. Definitely. How can us, the public, get involved in this campaign? And how can we do even more to help push that message forward? Oh, I love that question. So you can join us on Facebook, Instagram, follow us. Um, speak to your kids. Let them follow us on those mediums as well. We have our, our website as well but ig is i know the hit platform right, right now for covid <laughs> so so follow us on ig i think that's what they say yeah. um and you will see what we're doing share our videos share our ads there's amazing so the video you saw there is just one of many um so share that and we have so many posters as well on social media and we'll be consistently sharing the message via those mediums 
So once you make that viral, help the Trend and Creo Cancer Society to protect your youth. Definitely. And tell us about the launch, which, uh, but before actually, uh, what's the handle? What's the Instagram handle that people can uh, look for and, and follow? <laughs> Gary, I use a search button that says Trend and Creo Cancer Society, and it pops up. <laughs> <laughs> So I think right, it's good. at Trinidad and Tobago Cancer Society. And Trinidad on Facebook, Tobago it's Trinidad and Tobago Cancer Society. <laughs> well, good. You know, we, we're using the... You're making me show my age. You're making me show my age, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> but we're using, we, we're using the hip and, and happening um, apps that, uh, you know, uh, a lot of teens and, and young people use, you know. So we, we need to get in with the lingo, of course. But um, tell us about the launch, which took place last Friday. So the launch was last Friday, and it was a very soft launch because, as we, you can appreciate, um, we have. Oh, Kerry, I could tell you the hashtag. Sorry, somebody just said it to me. Hashtag TTCS right. and hashtag Consider the Consequences. So that's, that's how you'll get it. Right. So the launch was very soft because we know we're in election season, but we also want people to remember that not because of one day, which is elections and making a big decision on your country's future but we still have to consider the health of the population. So we're actually holding off again until uh, elections where we'll have an Instagram Live, where we'll have those young people speaking to everyone on how they, what their experience has been and how they feel about being um, promoters of, of this amazing, amazing campaign. All right, and before we go, where can interested persons get more information? Oh my gosh, yes. Well, you can call us, 800 TTCS. You can email us at projects at cancertt.com. You can look up our website. You can go on our IG and Facebook, right. link us, messages, whatever you want. School principals, tutor, come together, call us. We can do a big virtual symposium for you. We are here for you. The Trinidad and Tobago Cancer Society is determined to help our population survive this terrible pandemic called cancer. Wonderful. Dr. LeBlanc, I'm really looking forward to um, this campaign and uh, I'm going to be following that page and I'm going to like and share and hashtag everything myself. Thank you so much for your time this morning and wish you the very best with that campaign moving forward. Thank you so much.